In this episode, Rick tells us how to unlock the RPM potential of the 4.0. Shift gears here a little bit. What do you think a safe RPM is for a street uh, or off-road performance motor? What's it, what's it not going to break at? If you can keep it under 7,000, I think you'd be in good shape. Well, we're talking about stock rods, maybe a forged piston, you know, something lighter. Hydraulic yeah. cam, yeah. under 7,000. You, you know, 7,000, you know, if that would be the limit. You know, the, now Bob uh, Salemi with the 4-liter pickup truck that he races in our stock automatic, his engine will go to about 7,500. But he's, yeah, but he does, he's got a hydraulic cam profile in it, but he's got solid lifters. We lash the solid lifters. On the rocker, we lasted 4,000 in taking exhaust. I, I modeled he's the using, cam for him, so. Is he using roller rockers on that? Yep, Mopar Performance roller rockers. The first generation, the second and third the generation, one. you can use them. Mm -hmm. The difference between the first generation and the second and third, the second and third have a sh the shaft that goes across. It's movable. It's got like a ball joint on it. It moves. Don't use those. This is the one with the solid shaft that goes all the way across from one rocker to the other because it helps stiffen the pedestal. The pedestal, you know, on a, you know, it's a standard pedestal and it's like, a, you know, a 92 head and it's round and it's standing up pretty tall and doesn't have much meat. There's no meat underneath it. It's just water. Use this one with a solid shaft going from one rocker to the other. Tie them together and that way when one valve's opening, the other pedestal helps strengthen the pedestal that's open in the valve. So because the head's moving. We did a bunch of harmonic work on his engine, and that's when he went to 1279, yeah. It's going 1279.2 at 102.44. That's pretty fast for a stocker, especially that heavy class. It was like one point, what was it, 1.25 or 1.26 under the index. You guys are talking about putting 3.8 into those heads. What do you think about that idea? From the 516th, it's kind of a toss-up. 516th Allen is grade 8. So if you use a grade 8 bowl, you probably don't really need it. If you start to drill the pedestal, you know, you're taking material out of the place that really needs the material. It's flexing down by the head, but I don't know if I would do it. I don't, I don't know if the trade-off is worth it. Especially if you're only going to run a limited RPM range. It's not going to help the harmonics. You're not putting any meat back into the top of the cylinder head. You're doing, right. the, you know, taking it out of the pedestal and yeah. putting a stronger bolt. In. It depends on you know how much power you're going to make and uh, how high you want to run it. You know, if you wanted to scream the snot out of it, like Garth and Charlie going like 8,800 RPM, you'd need a mm -hmm. whole new system on the top of the head. That whole right, that right. whole thing would have to be all milled off, like what we did, milled it off and built a steel bar that tied into the rear head bolt holes, made it so that you could use the same length studs in front and back, and then put counter bores in between the pedestal where the pedestals were, and then go right into that screw-in metal steel plug that's in there that they use for clean out. Tap that for a 3A coarse thread, put a counter bore in the bar with an Allen head, and then drop it below the bar surface, put some sealer on the threads of the thing so it doesn't leak water. Crank it down with about 35 foot pounds and that's it. Forget about it. That standalone will change the dynamics of the har harmonic condition by a country mile. That one change that I did on that head made a huge difference in how fast that engine RPM. So how much of a, how much of a change did, did you really notice when you did that? I can give you an RPM comparison. When the pedestals were still on there but they were milled down, I milled a lot off them for the Jessel rocker stand. And I drilled and tapped the hole. It was like a 7 16 coarse thread. And having the thing milled down so much, the pedestal was very short. And I don't think it was more than a half inch tall. Still there, but it was just real short. And then I right. milled them down, I drilled and tapped. I didn't break through into the water jacket. That way I didn't have to put any sealer or anything on the threads of the bolts to hold the stand on. So then I bolted right. it down right on those pedestals, you know, you know, like pedestal and they had a bolt and bolt. So the jessels you're talking about, um, they're running a straight shaft between the six valves on the first three and the last three cylinders, right? Yeah, it was so two it was rockers on, on one on a shaft. You put the rockers down and you bolt them down three spots. Well, we ran it like that, okay? We put that together and we ran it and broke off every one of those pedestals. The engine would not rev over 7,500 when I first put it together. The thing would not rev. It would go up to 75 pretty quick, and then it just plane off, just like it was on a governor. It would go up real slow. And I was like, I don't even like the sound of this thing. Well, a lot of times I'll go, I'll say, hey, I'm going to go take the video camera. I'm going down the middle of the track or down to the end of the track. 
I'm going to watch this thing go by and I'm going to video it. You know, I'm going to, I want to hear what it sounds like. I want to hear if it sounds like an engine that's making power. It's, it sings when it's going, and it's right. It sings when it's going down the track. I go down track and then I listen to it go by and then, yeah, I said, oh God. It didn't go very fast and it was like, it was running in nine, like 917 range. Terrible. And then, well, we made a run and all of a sudden about half track the shut off come back and all the rocks all the pedestals are snapped off and all the bars were twisted <laughs> wow. I, said, oh. I said boy is this thing moving he said what do you mean i said the head is moving this thing's moving and when you get when you got a lot of stress and strain on different parts you, you start to make stuff move around it's like i don't like this i don't like being in here so what's it do it breaks and I said, do you remember what I told you when we first started? You're going to have to find the weak links and fix them. And here's one of them right here. And this was a big one. So I put that, I took it to work. I had one of the machinists that always was helping me out in the race stuff. And I said, could you put a steel bar? I said, here's what I want to do. And he looked and he says, oh, yeah, that's no problem, Rick. I can take care of that. And he says, no, 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 no problem, no problem. So anyway, I, I went down to the flow lab and I was down there for, I don't know, a couple of Two, two and a half. He's getting close to lunchtime, and the phone rings. I answer, and it's Art. He's up in the machine shop. I say, hey, Art, what's going on? I said, you got a question? He goes, nah, I got it done. I said, what? I got it done. I said, already? He did it right there. <laughs> yeah, he just took it and did it. And he did it in like a couple hours. And I said, wow. I said, well, he had the machine everything. He had the machine the head. He had the right. machine the, the piece of steel to go into the channel that would where the pedestals used to be. He had the get all the centers for the bolts that held the jessel. He had to weld one inch diameter steel, one inch tall with a hole diameter for the, like the, where the head studs went. And that was welded to the bar. Yeah, the, the back ones, I made them the same length as the front one. So that way, you know, you, you don't have to buy one size. You don't have to buy short ones or long ones. You know, gotcha. like head bolts are short and long. Yeah, well, you have to mm -hmm. do that. You just buy all the same length. That's commonization. But, you know, that's one thing I did learn from American Motors. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we put everything the same length. We had a, a grade 8 Allen, 3 8 uh, 16, I think. That would screw right through that steel plug that's in the, in the middle, you know, right between mm -hmm. the pedestals. It's, uh, that cleanup plug that's got that big silver plug that's wrenched in there real tight yep, with the yep. sealer those things are a pain to get out of there so i just said hey just drill right through there and we'll tap into it and i'll put some sealer on the thread of the allen head he goes oh, yeah that'll work we did that and uh, and that engine went from a 7500 turd to about a 9000 rpm screamer and that was even before we had the uh, bigger cam in there that was the biggest stumbling block in the valve train it was right there in the next video, we'll discuss the camshaft and lifters in the 4-liter.